Hey, it's Brooke Miller. Ever wonder what happens at a final walkthrough? Stay tuned and you'll find out. But if you haven't done so already, make sure you subscribe so you never miss out on these great videos. See you inside the house. So I'm inside this great house and my clients are going to be closing on it in a few hours. And the first thing you should know for a final walkthrough is typically the buyers of the home will come to the home, tour the home and test the home with their real estate agent. Unfortunately, my buyers today just had a baby, which is not unfortunate, it's a good thing, uh, but they are physically in Miami, Florida, and they will be signing their closing paperwork later today with a notary. So I'm here at the home doing the final inspection. So one of the first things we look at is making sure all of the furniture is out of the house. All the personal items are out of the house. That is a number one most important thing. Um, so if you walk into a home and there's still stuff in there, that's a problem, talk to your agent about that. Second, I print off this walkthrough sheet. So in this walkthrough sheet, we have a list of all the items that convey, and we're going to check every single one of these items to make sure they're in good working order. So an example is we're going to make sure that there truly are two ceiling fans in this property and that they all work. We're going to make sure the garage door opener is working, the gas logs are working, all of those things. Once we decide and discover that all the things are working, then the buyer will sign off. If for some reason there is a discrepancy, then we have these options here. Either the seller is going to correct them without putting money in escrow, the seller is gonna give the buyer a credit, or there will be an escrow, and we can talk about that in another video. This is typically done within a few hours of settlement, and that's simply because if there's a problem and the basement is flooded or a tree falls on the house, we wanna know what the exact condition of the home is right before we do the closing. So that way, if the closing needs to be delayed or something major did happen, we have time to take care of it. Now, I've already been inside this home last week. I actually toured the home with the contractor that did a lot of the inspection repairs, and he took me around and showed me all the inspection repairs. Looking at the inspection repairs is another thing that is done at the walkthrough. So not only do we make sure that all the regular functions of the home are taken care of, but all the agreed upon repairs that were done or put together throughout the course of the contract, we make sure those are properly done and we collect the receipts and make sure everything is good to go. Okay, I've now gone through the entire house to make sure things are working properly. So I went through everything to make sure that it was working or existing. So an example is the alarm system. There is an alarm system in the house, but obviously it's not hooked up. So it's not working right now, but it is here. Um, I did discover in this property, one thing wasn't correct. And that was the garage remote. There was only one in the house and the battery wasn't working. So I will bring that up with my client to see if they want to make a big deal about that or not. Uh, but I go through and I check off everything. I took a couple pictures of things that are newly finished and I will be sending this to my clients to sign in a little bit. At the same time, I had a list of all the things that were supposed to be done during the home inspection. And as you can see, I went through and I checked off all the things that we needed to do. The sliding glass door was taken care of and I took a picture of that to send to my clients. And the HVAC, I have a receipt for that. And I have verified that all of these things have been done. And this particular property also had an H OA issue on the outside and that was definitely taken care of. So this property is ready to go. So if there is a problem at the final inspection and there is something that hasn't been done, hasn't been done correctly, or there's a new problem, the agent needs to reach out to the listing company and we need to negotiate a way to take care of that. One way to take care of it is the seller just agrees to take care of it. They're gonna pay for everything and there's no escrow. We go to closing, everybody's happy with that. If for some reason it's a bigger thing, a bigger problem, and it may take a little bit of time, what can be done is we can set up an escrow. And what that means is the settlement company holds a little bit of the seller's proceeds, it's an agreed upon amount, until the work is done. There's a deadline for the work to be done. And then once the work is done and satisfy the buyer, then those funds are released back to the seller. If the work is not done, or if the work does not satisfy the seller, 
or not satisfy the buyer, you speak to your buyer's agent and you figure out what the next step is after that. And then what the seller can do is also just give a credit to the buyer. So let's say we came in, we discovered that the gas fireplace is not working. That is not true here, but the gas fireplace is not working. So what the seller could do is just give the buyer a credit, $500, say, okay, buyer, you take care of that problem after the fact. The buyer would have to agree to that, but that is another solution. So all in all, in this house, we had a really good walkthrough, and I'm really looking forward to telling my clients that the house is good to go. They'll be happy, they have hot water, they have heat working, the gas fireplace is working, it's clean, the garage door opener works, the, cook, the cooktop and the stove and the microwave, refrigerator, everything's ready to go. So that is the final walkthrough. If you have questions, put them in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe. See you next time. Hey, before I go, one more thing. I've been helping people buy and sell houses in the Fredericksburg area for the last 17 years. So if you or someone you know is interested in buying or selling a home in 2020, please let me know. You can click the link in the description box below to visit our website and we will take very good care of you. Hey you, don't forget to click the subscribe button right here to keep all this great information coming to you. And if you want to know more about the services we provide here in the great Commonwealth of Virginia, click the link to our website, go fill out a seller or a buyer profile, and we will get in touch and help you out. Don't forget, subscribe.